I've had a lot of pets in my life, about five. All of them whenever I was a kid or a teenager, and they all died young, and it's very sad. And it, it makes me cry if I think about it too much, especially one in particular, because I, I feel guilty about her. But we'll get to that. So the first pet that I can remember was a dog named Jamesy. I named him Jamesy because I liked the name James, then... I wanted something different, so James E. <laughs> he was a really sweet dog. He was like gray, and he got ran over by a car, unfortunately. And then I got another dog who was a Rottweiler, and his name was Zeus. But something to do with his stomach, and it got all like twisted, and he passed away around the same age of James E., like one or two. And uh, it's really sad and weird because. All of my pets uh, have died. Uh, all, all but one, Tim died, and it seemed like it was out of my control. Like it was, and and my brother would get pets at the same time. And and in fact, Jamesy's brother Spot lived into a, a very old age. He was like 16, 17 year, years old. Uh, and then my brother also had a cat named Spicy that lived very old. And then I, I had a cat. That was Spicy's sister who died young, so it was it. It just I never really thought that it seemed unfair, but or, or felt like it seemed unfair because I guess that is unfair. But I was mostly just torn up about the fact that all my pets were dying young, and then I I became a teenager, and around that time I had a bird who was a cockatiel named Jamesy. I na I named her Jamesy too. I just love that name apparently. <laughs> She was the sweetest bird ever. She would like sit on my shoulder and nibble on my air, ear and hear, hair. And she'd just like wobble around and we, we would have conversations, like not actual ones. I would tweet, I'd be like, and she'd be like, and I'd be like, she was so super sweet. But for one spring break, whenever I was a teenager, I stayed at my friend's house for a whole week and I forgot to call my parents and remind them to water and feed her. And that's why I feel incredibly guilty about it because she, I came back and she was dead. Obviously, she didn't have enough water. She probably died of dehydration. And I felt incredibly guilty and just cried and was depressed for days or weeks. Or even now, it's like whenever I think about it, I'm just, I feel horrible about it. And that's another reason why I never really got another pet or asked for another pet. Um, although in my adult life, I I took in one of the dogs that live here at my parents' house, and she lived with me for a couple weeks, but she wasn't adjusting well, and she was just happier here. So I was like, eh, I'll just take her back. <laughs> uh, her name's Luna, and so technically she's not my dog, and that's why she survived, I think, because it seems like there's a curse. All, all the pets that I have and animals, either something unfortunate happens and they die, or that one pet where it was definitely my fault for not reaching out to my parents and reminding them to feed and water her. And it's very painful, but eventually I will have more an animal companions whenever I live on my own, and I will rescue animals. I'm not going to buy them. Uh, even using the word pet... Uh, kind of feels weird as far as I'm trying to, the way I'm trying to think about it, because I don't like saying I own animals or I have animals or, you know, at, 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 as a vegan, I'd, I'd rather say they're my animal companions or I'm taking care of animals. But uh, apparently my track record and just luck is bad. So, and also I want to make sure that I have enough time and energy to really take care of an animal before I take in an animal, because usually, usually I'm, Especially now, I'm very busy with a lot of things. So, well, I live at my parents' house with with a bunch of animals, so I'm not going to be taking in any animals. But y'all know what I mean. If I was on my own, working full time, putting like 30 hours in on music, 30 or 40 a week, and then my son also. So, I I just feel like I I could not have a a dog is probably what I would go for is rescuing a dog, maybe a cat or two. Cats would be better, but dogs, I just wouldn't have the time to really give them the love and attention and be able to take them out as, as much as I should. So that's why I'm not going to probably get a dog for a long time. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, 
Have y'all ever had pets? Do your pets die young? Do you feel bad about a pet that died because you forgot to feed or water them whenever you were a kid? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video. For the animals! Woo!